just want to do a quick video on um, first aid kits for the uh, for bushcraft or for the field or while you're in the woods. Uh, some people believe you don't need a, um, a first aid kit. Some people believe, you know, a couple pieces of tape, you know, and an old rag, that's enough. Well, in my opinion, I think you need some kind of bushcraft kit, or as you were, some kind of first aid kit for bushcraft. And I don't think you need, you know, some people come, come to the woods with a whole damn med kit and uh, all this kind of stuff. I don't think you need that. But an example why I think you do need something specifically to stop the bleeding, if, if it occurs, um, you'll be able to handle that situation. You know, here I am. I'm out here in the woods. I'm about two miles, two and a half miles from the road. There's people on uh, live on the road, but, you know, they're all scattered out. This is country land, and, uh, you know, they're all scattered out, and I don't even know if they're home or whatever. So... Number one, if I can't stop the bleeding and I bleed out before I get to the road, it's not going to do me any good. And then if I can't get any help, uh, say I do make it out there and I can't get any help, I could still possibly bleed out. Um, and that's, you know, that's that portion of it. Of course, you know, you could, I was cutting some wood in West Virginia, cutting a limb down just to get it out of the way. And the saw popped out and cut my finger, ripped it right open. I luckily had a piece of tissue and, and some tape, and I put on, and it worked. Yeah, great. But I think you should have some kind of little kit with you just for specifically stop the bleeding and maybe a few other little things. I'm not a doctor by any means. I have had medical training through the Army, basic combat lifesaver training, and uh, through my work, some other training, medical training. I'm not going to do any uh, needle thorium thesis or no, anything like that. And that's an inside joke from my main man, Chuck. If you're watching, Chuck, go ahead and take a little laugh. But, uh, you know, I'm talking about mainly, you know, basic little, you know, broken bones, uh, stopping the bleeding, things like that. So, again, some people, famous people, think, you know, hey, I can just take some tape and a rag and I'm good to go. That may work. Like I said, when I cut my finger in West Virginia... I had some. Uh, I had a napkin with me in my pocket. I threw it on it and, and applied pressure, and I got some tape out and taped it on my finger, and it worked until I got back to the to the cabin. But let's just say, you know, like I said, I'm out here with. I've got two guns. I've got four knives. Well, I've got three knives, a multi-tool, an an axe, and uh, a saw. So you know, um, example. Here I am, and this this nice razor sharp, more bushcraft black. If you haven't seen it, check out my channel. But uh, every time I'm cutting a piece of wood, you know that could be a piece of flesh coming off. I'm cutting. I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing, and bam, I cut my leg. Maybe I don't I don't cut the artery, but I cut my leg. Now I'm bleeding pretty bad, <clears throat> or I cut my slip and I cut my wrist. Things like that. That's what I'm talking about here. Or you might be going down the side of a hill, you, you slip and fall, uh, your gun goes off by chance, <laughs> um, and an accidental discharge, and now you shot yourself saying the leg. Now you really are hurting. So I think number one thing someone should carry, or people should carry, is um, a tourniquet. And this is the cat tourniquet. Um, it's a, you know, you can put it on yourself, of course, put it on someone and, but if you're by yourself, you can put it on real easy. Now, imagine you just shot yourself in the leg. You, you can't even, you know, you're trying to stop the bleeding. You're in massive pain. You don't know what the hell to do. Um, you can reach in your bag or your pocket, whatever, pull this out. Now, I'm not going to undo this and run it up because you can undo it and wrap it around and cinch it down. But I'll just do it on my arm. Let's just say I shot myself in the arm or I cut my arm. Um, you want to get this thing on like so. Now cinch it down as tight as you can get it right here. Okay, and now this portion here, this, this um, stick-like portion, I can start turning and it, and it tightens it up 
the more I turn. However, what's good about it is it has this little hook here, or plastic uh, hook, if you will, on both sides, and it locks it into place, like so. Now, you know, there are rules about turning it, like, you know, maybe 10 minutes or so, but, you know, some people I, I know believe that, you know, Sometimes on, on certain cuts and, and wounds and stuff, you should go ahead and apply a tourniquet right away. But, you know, that's, you know, that's a different thing. But the point is, it's this cat tourniquet. It doesn't cost very much, and it works. You can put it around your leg and do the same thing. You could even put it around your waist if, you, if it fits. So if it doesn't fit, you might want to work out a little bit. But the point is, you have something that can stop the bleeding and, and surely probably save your life if uh, you know if something like that happens so this is one item in my first aid kit and I don't keep it in the first aid kit I keep it if I have a bag it's usually right in a small pouch someplace I can get to it right away because like I said again you shot yourself in the leg example you stab yourself or whatever you want to be able to go get it not dicking around with anything it's usually open like so at minimum so I can, I can deploy it easy, get it on, cinch it down, stop the bleeding, get some maybe rags and uh, towels or whatever other items I can get to help stop the bleeding and uh, apply pressure to it and then do what I have to do maybe to get out of the woods. And I'm talking specifically for bushcraft in the woods. Um, other items I carry, and I, I just carry this small first aid kit, and this is a homemade first aid kit. You you know, for, this is, I had this pouch here. Uh, I, I don't even know where the hell I got it now, but it, it didn't cost anything. I know it was free. So, what I have in here, I have some, uh, these are, I believe, uh, okay, 8x10 gauze. Uh, stop the bleeding. I have some moleskin um, I have a small <laughs> small round band-aid because that you know that's another thing too I'm cutting something and I slip and just nick my hand it's bleeding put a tissue something on it stop the bleeding get a band-aid put on it maybe that's all it takes I got some quick clot now this is the bandage quick clot uh, it's not the stuff you pour in but it's it's the bandage you put it on tie it off and nine times out of ten, if it's not that bad, this should work. Um, but if it doesn't, I have the tourniquet. Then I have a, um, a uh, Dynarex uh, Cincy wrap, they call it. It's just a, you know, a self-adhesive wrap. It sticks on. Um, it sticks to itself. So got some sun block. And um, everything else in here, is, okay, let me see, I got some chapstick uh, in the tube. Uh, I've got, like, sanitation wipes. I have um, some uh, Dayquil, some NyQuil. I have also two Aquamira uh, water purification tabs. I got some Seprecol, throat lozenges, um, some Alka-Seltzer cold and flu. Advil, uh, Tylenol, uh, several um, different kind of band-aids, uh, uh, some stuff for diarrhea, peps, Pepsid, I can't pronounce it, um, stuff like that. I got some, um, it's not, um, what the hell is that shit called, um, ointment for sores and stuff like that, I can't think of the name of it. Neosporin, stuff like that. I have uh, tabs for heartburn and things like that. So, you know, the main thing is there, I have, you know, if I come out to the bush for a couple nights, I get sick, I got something to deal with that, or, you know, I get diarrhea or something like that. I also have some Motrin and 800 milligram Motrin, about four of those, and some aspirin. So, you know, like I said, if I get a cold or I get sick out here, I can maybe take some Alka-Seltzer, lay down, and hopefully feel better the next day. I also have here some uh, pain relief patch. It's, it's heated and treated with, uh, I'm not sure, but it's, it's just a heated patch. 
So, I mean, that's what I have in my first aid kit, and that's, that's about it. You know, the main thing are the band-aids, the gauze, stuff like that. Uh, like I said, to stop the bleeding. And, you know, you get out in this situation, you cut yourself bad, and um, you don't have anything to deal with it, you find yourself in serious trouble. So, anyway. All right, YouTube. Add top of the line training. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to the channel. And I'll be back to it with another video real soon. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.